How should you handle stockouts when selling on Amazon? My name is Stephen Pope and I've got some advice for you today and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. So I have a client who hired me for a coaching call last week, really, really nice guy. And he sells dumbbells. And uh, I'm not gonna reveal which dumbbells his or his brand name or anything like that, but I'm gonna use his story to kind of illustrate the solution to a problem that he has. So he writes, my adjustable dumbbell listing has been doing really well. It's number four bestseller in the fitness weights category on Amazon. It looks like I'll be out of stock in two weeks, having sold half the stock in the same period of time. I've ordered another container of these dumbbells, but it won't arrive for around three months. In three months, I think the market will be very different. There will be much more supply as sellers have restocked by then and less demand because some gyms have reopened and people have bought all of the weights that they wanted to buy. This means I will need to be more competitive with respect to pricing and marketing. And then there's a series of questions that he asks, and they are just spot on, the exact kind of things you need to know about when dealing with stockouts. So I'm really excited to um, kind of talk through this. So first question, what strategy should I adopt in this situation where I'll be out of stock in two weeks with no further stock for 10 weeks? And, and so we're going to talk about that. The first thing is you need to raise your prices. And in any situation where you have inevitable stockout, you need to raise your prices. And second to that, you need to shut off your advertising. If you do these two things and forget everything else, you're going to be in great shape. And that's because you're trying to slow down the sales and velocity because an actual stockout event is pretty damaging to your listing. They're also pretty inevitable, though. You cannot be perfect and never stock out. It is literally impossible, right? Unless you're overstocked 24 seven. So because of that, when you are going to see a stock out situation, you need to respond with some strategy. So he asked, should I now temporarily increase the price to slow down the sales? And the, and the answer to that is absolutely. Um, don't do more than a 10% hike at a time. And that's because Amazon may uh, take away your buy box. Even if you're the only seller on your listing, if you do more than a 10% price hike, Amazon may put you into the sea of from available sellers buy box scenario, which is tricky. So what I recommend you do is do a 10% 10 per, 10 price hike, let it sit for a day or two, and then raise it further from there. Uh, you could be at 30, 50% higher a week from now and just keep raising that price slowly. Make sure you never lose the buy box. If you lose the buy box for any reason, revert your pricing back down. But let's say you, you raised it $3, right? You went from 20 bucks to 23 and you lost the buy box. Well then try 22. And if 22 still doesn't do it, try 21 until you stick in the buy box. Sit at that place for a while, raise the prices again as quickly as it'll let you a few days later. Maybe have to be more than a few days potentially. All right, so what should you do with your PPC campaigns now that you're during uh, this time when you're stocked out? So here's the good news. Amazon automatically shuts off any ads that you're not in the buy box for. So if you lose, uh, you don't have any stock left, you, you lose the buy box in essence and ads automatically pause. But it doesn't make a lot of sense if you're down to that last 10 items to spend any money trying to push those 10 items. So you're better off pausing your ads when you have a guaranteed stock out event that's going to occur prior to your restocking. So in this scenario, uh, he's going to be out of stock for three months and he's going to stock out in two weeks from now. So there's a guaranteed stock out event on the horizon. Therefore, pause ads immediately. Don't wait. Um, so next question, can I do pre-sales on my listing? And the answer to that is no, you cannot. It is impossible to do pre-sales on Amazon. Now, when you're, when you're restocking an item uh, and, and it's on the way to FBA, the moment it checks into FBA, it's not necessarily uh, shipping that same day. It kind of goes into a little bit of check-in limbo in many instances. And that could be because they're transferring some stock from one uh, facility to another. It could be because they're doing some prep work for you. Or it could be they're just... We've scanned the pallet of goods, but we haven't checked it into the back of our warehouse, right? So it might say available in four days or whatever on the listing, but it does become available for sale um, before it ships, typically. That's not guaranteed, uh, doesn't happen everywhere, 
And uh, this is mostly US-based knowledge that I'm touting. So if you're watching internationally, uh, you might have a slightly different experience. So uh, because you can't do pre-sales, stockouts are bad, right? Like you're gonna lose sales during this time. The only place you can do pre-sales is your own website. If you do need a website though, we do sell them for $2,000. We recommend Shopify. Just go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us. It is not something I advertise frequently. This is probably the first video I've shot where I've actually mentioned that we build websites. And that's because we build one every week by pure word of mouth. And we're, we've struggled historically to keep up with that service. We're about to get out of that uh, rut. We've hired up and now we can start advertising site builds. So if you do need one, $2,000, just contact us. Full Shopify build, including Google Analytics, Webmaster, Sitemap, uh, pixel installs, SEO, design, everything is included with that. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the next question is, uh, does brand registry give you any benefits during a stock out? The answer to that is no, it does not. It does not benefit you in any shape or form. Brand registry will help you drive traffic, but it won't help you with orders or anything related to logistics. Should I deactivate the listing so that Amazon doesn't think I'm at zero sales? Now here is probably the most interesting question. And the answer is debatable, right? Like I don't know the answer to this question with certainty, but generally speaking, uh, I do think if it's, if it's an item by itself, not in a parentage, you are better off closing the listing. So this is what a closed listing looks like. And you can see here on the, on the left-hand side here, this is a closed listing that can preserve the BSR ranking as so goes the theory, right? If the item is in a parentage, however, I don't recommend closing the listing. And that's because, uh, there could be, uh, a, you know, a return that occurs in the next 45 days and the listing flips back on, you get that one sale and it goes back off. Also, the BSR is shared on all childs of a variation. So if you sell a t-shirt in red, blue, and black, and the white sells out, or the red sells out, and you still have two other colors in stock, your BSR is the same anyway. So you're not gonna be preserving the BSR by closing one of the variations listings. Now, how do you, how do you close uh, a SKU, right? This is not necessarily common knowledge, so don't feel stupid if you don't know how to do this. Um, so the way you do it is you come and click on the checkbox here and use the drop down on the top left and you can hit close listing. The alternative is to use the drop down over here. Now in this instance, mine's already closed. So instead uh, it does say relist. And, and if you look at a listing that's not closed, you can see close listing in that drop down. This does not delete any data. I repeat, closing a listing does not delete any data it does take it offline for, uh, for sale, it does not include any availability to purchase the item. Another method that you could use is to go into the actual backend data and switch the offer uh, release date to a future date. Uh, I, I think with, with this, um, I generally use release dates for new items. I don't generally switch the release date for old items. So I don't recommend this if you're gonna stock out, I only recommend this if, if you've got a new item and you wanna be fully ready, everything built and fully optimized before you go live, use the release date and you can, you can um, so let's say uh, I wanna schedule this 30 days out, I could select any date more than 30 days out and then the moment I'm ready, just change the release date to today's date, that'll take the listing live. Um, and the reason this is important, if, of course, is because in the first two weeks of a listing, there's what's called a honeymoon period. And in a honeymoon period, the more sales you get in the first two weeks, it will help you leapfrog other competitor listings and generate additional keyword uh, rankings that you would not have gotten otherwise. So that's why a release date matters because if you went live but didn't do any ads or you went live, didn't have A-plus content ready or whatnot, then your honeymoon period doesn't have as much benefits, not as many sales during said honeymoon period. Uh, so that's that's why that matters. Now, there is no honeymoon period with an item coming back in stock to my knowledge or anybody else's that I've seen online. Um, but there is absolutely debate on whether closing a listing is a good method or not. So I, I, 
I think I lean towards closing a listing when it's an orphaned listing with no variations, and I lean towards not closing a listing when it's part of a parentage that otherwise has stock on other variations. So this is some advanced theory and conversation, but on a very basic and very common uh, question. So uh, I hope that was really helpful in, in, in reference to um, what to do when you have a stock out. We, of course, are Amazon consultants. We give out this information for free, all of our trade secrets, because content is my way of getting attention. Uh, but if you would like to hire us, uh, go over to myamazonguy.com, and we are a full-service Amazon agency, everything from listing management and creation to PPC and advertising and A-plus content design, listing reinstatement. We've got it. We do it all. Uh, and we've done it for hundreds and hundreds of other brands. So hope you check us out. And uh, if you have any questions about anything on Amazon whatsoever, don't hesitate. Leave a comment on the video. Subscribe, and uh, we'll we'll give you some free advice if we if we can help you out. And we appreciate everything you guys do in supporting us at my Amazon guy.